Welcome guys back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with some more Minecraft dinosaurs and as you guys can already tell by the title and thumbnail, today we are going to be making the Majungasaurus enclosure. But obviously before we do that, we do have name suggestions from last episode for the Parasaur Lophus. If you guys were not there for the last episode, obviously go and check out the last episode because it was the uh, fan favorite of the Parasaur Lophus. But uh, let's go ahead and head over to their enclosure and... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get their name suggestions. Okay, as we're here at the Parasaur Lophus enclosure, as you can see, they're back there. I think I just saw one. Yep, there they are. There's one of them, at least. There's the other one. There are two of them are. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and grab these signs, and I'm going to go ahead and put them right here. And the name suggestion, the uh, viewer that posted or gave me the name suggestions down in the comments. Obviously, if you want to leave name suggestions for the Majungasaurus of this episode, do leave them down in the comments. But for Flyer... For Flyer 1 left the name suggestions for the Parasaur Office, so thank you, for Flyer, for, for... Apparently, I can't pronounce words, but, you know. For Flyer 1, thank you for the name suggestion. And his name suggestions were, for the mail... Name it Solot. Apparently, I don't know how to spell Solot. And I don't know why I did that. I need that sign for both names. Apparently, I'm very out of it today. But here we go. Solot. And then for the female, he said to name it Ginny. So, thank you for the name suggestions for Flyer. Let's go ahead and grab these. There's a goat right there, apparently. Let's go and grab this out. And, okay. So first things first, we need to make you guys sit. So this one right here is the male. So this is the male. So this is Solit. There he is. There's Solit. Okay, we'll go ahead and let him wander. And here's the female. At least this should be the female. Yep, this is the female. And here's Ginny. Thank you, Four Flyer, for the name suggestions. I do appreciate them. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go around the park as we usually do each episode. And we do our daily, or not daily, but weekly checkup on all the dinosaurs to make sure they're not dead. Because that happens quite often with this mod. But, uh, yeah, it looks like these two are doing good. They're getting quite, they're getting pretty big, the Stegos. Um, over here we have the Proto, uh, Proto Ser Pro. Proceratus. Proceratosaurus. And these guys like to hang out down here for some reason. Here they are. Yeah, I don't know why they like to hang out down here, but they do. Um, head in here. Okay, over here we have the Carnotaurus enclosure. Which is actually been here for a decent bit of time. Though we've lost one of the Carnotaurus over a bit of time, we do still have one of them. Or we don't. Oh, no, we do. Here he is, Rain. He's getting pretty big, as you guys can see. He's getting... Try to move him out from the corner. Yeah, as you guys can see, he's getting pretty big. He's almost the height of my player now. So, yeah, he's getting pretty big. Um... We have the Protoceratops over here. These two, I'm pretty positive, are full-grown. Looks like they're doing pretty well. And we have the Titanus, which we I'm pretty sure we already figured out are both dead. Yep. Um, we have the Pachycephalosaurus, which are both still alive, of my knowledge. Yep. Two of them are down there. Uh, Blue Mo and Gomo. Yep. Two of them are doing good. Down here we have the Dilophosaurus, which I'm pretty sure is dead. Both of them. Yeah. Which is another thing with the small dinosaurs die every like second, pretty much. Then we have the two Oviraptors, as you can see. Yeah, there are two of them are. Um, I don't know why those guys are up there, but they're doing their thing, I guess. And that's it for this side of the uh, river, or lake. Did I say river or lake? Well, river is correct. I don't know why I said lake after that, but... I don't know. I'm not thinking correctly, apparently. But now that we're on this side of the river, we show the oldest dinosaur, or... I always say that, dinosaur, it's not a dinosaur, it's a prehistoric creature in the park, which is the Hyenodon. Dave is the oldest one, and he's the full-grown one right here. 
He's been alive the longest time in this park. And then Alex was, along with him, the oldest, but she died, so now we have a new Alex, as you guys can see. Um, and then over here, over here we have the compies, there should be four of them. Uh, I only see three. Nope, four. Okay, so we still have all four compies. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Go ahead and sleep. Okay. Now we can head over to the other enclosures. Right over here we have the uh, Postosuchus, right? Postosuchus, yeah. Two of them are doing good. The Morphodons, we already know, are dead or disappeared or escaped something. Which is very confusing on how dinosaurs keep doing that. Microraptors we already found dead or disappeared. Horarosaurus. I haven't I haven't actually checked in on these guys. We got one of them. We do we just have one? Oh no, we have two, but this one's like stuck in the water. Ace is stuck in the water. Um Yeah. Get you out get you out of the water okay now I just need no don't go back in the water here now I need to get you off the leash wait is he just gonna go straight back into the water why is he going back in the water no okay I'm bringing him all the way over here to this oh well oh I thought the lead broke no he's still on all right now can why do you gotta be like this come on how can I not get him off lead? Come on. Okay, this is probably going to take a bit of time. Okay. Why do you have to run in the... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave in the water. I don't know why you won't leave the water, but... Just go. Just get out. I don't know what's going on with him, but whatever. Just go ahead and leave. Okay, then next we have the... Guilong... I believe. Yeah, we have the Guilong, which are already dead as well. We have a lot of dead dinosaurs in this park. Hey, guess what? These two actually stayed where they're meant to, even though they're sitting, so they shouldn't be able to move at all, but somehow they still do. But two of them are doing good. Two Dodos are still alive out of the four we had. I was saying last episode, we only had two as well. And then Chiliosaurus are doing as well. Or doing well as well. Doing well as well. They're still alive. That's probably just what I should have said. But, uh, yeah, either way. Actually, I need to sort that all out. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and find a location to build the enclosure for the Majungasaurus. And, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just got finished putting away the supplies from the build. So we're gonna head over here and we got our two Majungasaurus eggs that are hatched. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in their enclosure. The enclosure, I built it over here on this side of the river as I do majority of the newer enclosures now. Um, it's past, it's past, it's pretty much with the three enclosures over here, the uh, three big enclosures, the Carnotaur, Stego, and Para, Parasaurolophus. Um, it's over here with them. It's behind the Parasaurolophus. See, it's all the way back here. Um, because these guys are quite big. I think that they may be, I think they're a bit bigger in Carnotaurus. Maybe around the same size. But, uh, there's a moose on top of a tree. Okay, then. But, yeah, this is the enclosure. You see, I, I, I did kind of put, like, this little thing. That was cool. And then also, you see right here, I did that. Um... Yeah, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of just a, uh, a, uh, just a simple closure, you know? I just took the ground that was here, and I literally just built these walls. That's pretty much what I did. Um, but, yeah, over here, as you can see, I did that, because over here, it was, like, two block tall wall, so I added an extra one slope, and then a second one to make it four blocks tall, since these dinosaurs are quite big, the Majungasaurus, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, these guys in here. In case you're wondering why there's a bunch of seeds and random plants on the ground that I keep picking up, it's because of the uh, cause how I get rid of uh, grass and stuff is I do this. I just place water bucket, 
and then pick it back up. That's how I get rid of water, or rid of grass and stuff, so it just puts it everywhere. But, uh, yeah. Either way, here's the first one. Make use of it. And here's the second one. Sit. Okay. So, in terms of name suggestions, obviously, you guys need to know. So, this is the male. This is the male one right here. So, if you want to leave name suggestions for the male, it's a blue and orange with a bit of, like, a dark red on the head. And then white underbelly. And this one over here should be the female. Yep. And if you want to leave name suggestions for the female, the female is a is a tan. Tan. I don't think that's tan. But it's like a, a light orange skin colored. I don't know what skin color is called exactly, but skin colored. And then you have the blue stripes on the head. And then you have some blue stripes on the tail along with like a military kind of like green on there and then the underneath is just yeah but uh, yeah if you want to leave name suggestions that's what this is the male that's the female but either way guys before i do go i do want to ask that if you enjoyed the video obviously don't forget to leave a like subscribe and uh also don't forget to come back to the videos i do appreciate it if you would come back and continue to watch if you enjoy the content but yeah if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.